girls and guys, I'm Alexia and today I'm gonna show you one of my most easiest maintenance aquascapes what I, which I really like. So stay tuned! In this nature aquarium I wanted to achieve a very natural look you can actually find it in the forest as well. The main elements I've been using is a very big red moor wood with some roots and I combined it with some lava rock and ADA gravel. The whole system is put together from an ADA soil and I do fertilize it with ADA as well. As in my other aquascapes, I try to make here the same three-dimensional scape with three different layers. In the foreground, I've been using some Eleocarius acicularis and a little patch of Monte Carlo. To break the lines, I've been planting in, in small patches some Mycelia hirsuta and in the Monte Carlo, I've been putting in some Bucifelandras. For covering the little splits of the trees, I've been using mosses. For example, here the Physidens fontanus, the mini type. Ground, I've been using one of my favorite, Cryptocarine Albida Brown, which is a very nice thin reddish plant. Next to it, I've been using more and more Bucephalandras. Next to it, I used on the root some Hygrophila pedantifida, which I try to stay as small as possible. And next to the big wood, you can find some little cryptocarine when they decompact. In the background, the plants get a little bit uncontrolled, but I really like this look. So because of that, I have very, very big amount of cryptocarine when they green compact. Next to it, there are some cryptocurrent parvula patches mixed with uh, Potamogeton gai, and behind the wood, you can find some Hygrophila pinatifida combined with Ludwigia super red. The Hygrophila pinatifidas I've been using the same way on trees as epiphyte plants and in the, with the roots in the soil. If you don't want to miss any future videos, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Livestock-wise, I've been using as algae fighters a very big group of amano shrimp. They are around 20 shrimp. Next to them, I have around four or five Otocinclus affinis, which are my very favorite ones. 
and some Naritone snails. in here are the green bright cubates, a big amount of galaxy rasporas and some last um, raspora brigittes from the previous scape. I just didn't want to put anywhere else and they do very fine here. Do you like this video? If yes, don't forget to hit the like button. To give the scape a nice look and don't bring the view away, I've been using mainly glass equipment in the aquarium. So the inflow and the outflow, the drop checker and the diffusor are, are of glass, as well as the bubble counter. I'm using a twin star M5 sterilizator and an ocean free skimmer. As a filter, I'm using the Eheim Professional 350 series and the Chihiro's VRGB Lightning. As a background lightning, I'm sure you saw it. I made a DIY tutorial about it and you can find a video to it just above here. Below there you can find another very nice video of another aquascape of mine. If you like the scape and have further questions to it, please comment below. I hope to see you soon again. Bye!